this is about me and my lever gun or should I say lever guns but I still own only one and what I'm going to show you is a man that has never seen or hold or shot a mauling rifle and he gets into all kinds of problems with it and how he tried to work around it while the film is rolling and I don't delete anything I only add this part as part number one and I tell you the reason the reason is I start working on it and then I thought I'm going to make a movie but actually this is my third gun uh, third gun yes one two three third gun oh you will show me a movie about how you fix a gun and you don't own it isn't that kind of strange you say or think yeah it is strange what happened when I worked on the gun you know in the middle of my tune up tune up I found out that the lip on the bolt was cracked at the root. May I do it or was just a factory flaw? I choose to say it was a factory flaw, but you know, everyone has excuses. And I couldn't get a new bolt. So I had to send the gun back and get a new gun. So, but the importer is a very, very, very good firm. Not the one that sold it to me. They are also nice people. But I had to deal directly with the importer. They sent me a new one. And the new one was just a piece of crap. That one was beyond reach. I may put something out about it. Not beyond reach. But I was pissed. I don't want it. I don't want to start all over again with that one. So this is my third gun. I took it, I took the second gun on the airplane, threw it on to the importer, went through boxes and boxes of SPL, SPLs, picked this one. Quite good, but I'm going to make it function better because I've done it one time, think I can do it two times, but I won't put my soul into it. May I, I may do that with the first gun, I don't know. This gun is just going to function, nothing special. So, why do we fiddle around with lever guns, Marlins and Winchester and things? I can shoot everything that lives on this planet with the guns I own. So, how come do you want a tricky gun like this? This is like an old lady, you know. It's, it's unpredictable, you never know. But... I hunt moose with a dog, the dog type of dog that says wow 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 wow. Try to have the moose or elk standing still while sneaking up on it, shoot it. I think wow I'm a cool guy. I use irons and lever actions and I feel you know, great feeling. And I did that this year with this gun so it was cool but this was Special interested people. It's not for the beginner, I think, if you're going to learn to shoot or this is your first gun. But anyways, um, this video, including this one, has 11 parts. And the first part will be... Oh no, I'm going to start all over again. When I got the gun in 2010, in November, it was after the moose hunt. I ordered it in March, April 2010. It was too late. So I shot a couple of shots with it. Maybe a box or something. But it was very hard to cycle it. And especially from here. When you try to lock the gun. With a cartridge in it. You have to really show your muscles here. And the reason was. The extractor. And this slot, there was a burr inside, so I have to file and file and try to get it away. And it had the worst trigger I ever seen or used. 
And there was a tricky thing when I worked the lever forward and back approximately here, everything stopped up if I pressed it to the left. If I didn't do nothing, it cycled. Not good, but it cycled. So that I did in 2011 before my moose hunt in a hurry because I didn't start working before, you know, 10 days before the hunt. And then throw it in the closet until let's say Eastern March, April, 2012. Then I start working on it. And that's the movie you will see because it's not an instruction video. It's me just working around my problems and see if I can do it. So take it for what it's worth. That's for sure. But you know, you see everything I do right. You see everything I do wrong because I learn along the journey. So if you want, watch it. It will be long. It will sometimes be very, very, very boring because the film rolls just stop when I have to do something and let the film rolls again. Don't add, don't delete, do nothing. And in part one, or part, or maybe this is part one, in part two, you will come in and see me working with the lever and nothing else in the gun. Then I try to find up find out why it's locking up. So that's part two. Part three is how the carrier works. Part four, the latch is starting to bothering me. This thing hits the corner on the entrance, no big deal. And then when I cycled the gun, here you can hear the firing pin is dropping. Like, here, but I can't feel it that much in the in my latch. On my first gun, I could feel it like a I could feel it in my hand and I tried to work around that. So that's chapter five. <laughs> chapter six is about the bolt and the extractor feeding type of thing. Chapter seven is about the plunger and my advice at least is do the plunger thing the last step you do with your gun and then part eight hammer trigger work part nine what I call the block and that is the locking bolt and everything I say there there is not correct I know it but you know, when I worked with it, I didn't think it over. And uh, chapter 10 is about the loading port and inside the receiver. And I had a part 12. Me assemble the gun from bare, just the receiver and the barrel. Just assemble it. But you know, then I will be so tired of, my, of watching myself. When I tried to clip these uh, clips together to a movie. But uh, you won't see me doing it. Because if you can't do that, you can't work on this. So that's basically what I will show you in December, almost Christmas 2013. Enjoy or puke your decision. I had fun.